Good morning. This is Amy from uh, Artisan Crafter Amy, and I wanted to show you my latest completed project for my Etsy shop. Um, our bird Kiwi says hello. I hear Kiwi's collar jangling, and our kitten is up on the table next to us. So uh, everybody but the hamster is going to get involved in our video probably today. So uh, this is a Christmas journal that I made. Um, I wanted to start making Christmas stuff sooner than I did, uh, but I was into the really into the Christmas spirit when I did this one. Um, this little character and the character on the front are from Amy at Crafty Cat, another Amy, right? I, I love Amy's channel, Crafty Cat, and, um, and these were just so cute. See, Kiwi's excited about them too. All right, so this is a box that they come in, and I've decorated the inside of the, the lid as well, uh, but I wanna save that as a surprise for whoever gets it. I love surprises. Um, a lot of times I will say, I think the, the inside of the lid comes out a little better. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, I don't have to worry about it going through the mail, so that's nice. All right, so I did this in a way that I, you know, I make them like I'm making them for myself is the plan. And here's the other uh, character, uh, paper doll character from Amy at Crafty Cat. But is all the flowers and this button, I love this. It's covered with like a sweater the, um, button and then a bow. Um, and then across the top, I put, I made a whole batch of um, bows and paper clip bows or bow top paper clips however you want to say that, um, and then put some in my Etsy shop as well, but I mean, I, I stocked up. I'm so excited. I went back and added them to the tops of all of my journals I had made. I went back and added more, um, and I just, I just like them. I, they're not even clipping anything in. I just think they look so pretty across the top, and then I used little, um, little, uh, I can't say sequins because they're like little fake gems um, for the ornaments. And then I put one in his hand, Santa's hand, like he was decorating the tree, which I thought was cute. It has a ribbon closure. This one is bigger than my other ones. I wrote notes on where it was. What is it? Uh, nine times eight, 72 pages uh, at least. I didn't count the short pages. So I just counted the, you know, the regular pages. And then, um, what else is neat about this? Oh, it also has a taller spine, you know, to accommodate all those extra pages. Uh, oh, here's my ruler. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see. So the spine is two and a quarter inches tall. And it's no gator mouth. It actually lays flat. That was enough room. And then uh, it is six inches wide and nine inches tall, just a hair over nine inches tall, which is what I like to do when I make my file folder covers, is to give myself lots of room for the bows. And then um, I did fabric tab or lace tabs on the side. It was like all done. And then I decided, I was like, oh wait. Um, it would look beautiful with lace tabs on it. I think one of the tags that's over here had lace on it and was kind of peeking out. And then I was like, oh, that's it. I, I went back and I could, I like woke up first thing before work, before even getting ready and ran out here and added the lace tabs to all the pages. And then it has the, the handmade charm and then um, a little angel that says, um, I think it says watching over you. I don't know, let me put my glasses on. Right, let's see, and then my head might be in there. Sorry for that. Angels watching over me is what the little angel charm says. Okay, glasses off, make sure I'm still on screen here. I, I, I'm really excited about this and how it came out. I need to remember to do this to all my journals, but um, you know, branding is less important than the making for me, but I, I try to brand my stuff. Okay, oh, and then a little snowflake here on the cover. All right, so it's an altered file folder project, but I reinforced it with chipboard again so that um, it is a hardcover book with the, um, this part is not reinforced, so this is a little bit soft. Um, 
I like I like it to see that it was a file folder. I just think that makes it so fun. Um, but I, I have an office job, and so to bring your little file folder journal uh, with you somewhere, so cute. But of course, you know, I make what I like. I already said that. I don't mean to be boastful here. Um, it's just, I had seen a new channel. Um, is it Ruby and Pearl XO? Oh my goodness, I was so inspired. But um, I was about halfway done with this when I saw her channel and I went back through and added more texture, uh, more bunches of fabric. I tried to use a larger variety of lace than I tend to just grab one or two sizes of lace and go throughout the whole journal with it. And this time I took all like 20, types of lace that I have. And then fabric, um, I'd kind of gotten out of the habit of using some fabric in here in my journal. So, so I, I just had so much fun. There's some, some bling here. Uh, let's turn this around the front pocket where I fold over the excess of the file folder here. And then inside that pocket I've tucked, this is a mass make project uh, video that's, I. I, I don't know when it's scheduled to go up. I have them scheduled through November so that I can try to be um, consistent with my twice a week postings. Um, I know if I have them scheduled in advance that um, that I'll be punctual, right? Uh, I don't like last minute, right? Uh, right, so, so this is a little pocket um, that I use to give out uh, paper clips. I have paper clips for sale in my shop and I use this to display the paper clips. It can be glued in somewhere if you want to do that. It can be handed out. And then I made a couple tags, um, little Christmas tags. And then I like to back the, the tags on product packaging. And then this is what I call a writing board. And I'm sure I heard the term from somebody else, but it's to put underneath the pages. This page is actually very stiff. It doesn't need any support, but some of the pages might be thin or maybe what's underneath it is lumpy. And you can use the writing board underneath to add space to write. And um, I do use my own journals and I find that that there's the occasional page where there's no room to write, but there's plenty of room to write. You know, this would this is room for a small sentiment or something inspirational quote that I heard that day or found and, and wanted to put down. Um, there's the back of the tag on this page and then behind the tag, there's a place. Um, and I just think it looks so cute to have the journaling or the writing mixed in. Um, Hold on, I actually have, if you don't mind, during the flip through, I'll show you one of mine that I've used. Hold on. I think I have it here. Oh, but maybe not. Um, I don't want to. Oh, here we go. Mm. No, no, it's a different, I'm making a journal planner for my mother. And I thought it was my used one. Uh, but what uh, what I'm going to do with my journal planner this year is I'm going to have 12 um, month-to-date uh, journaling cards. And then, uh, or maybe six two-sided ones, sounds better. And then I'll have 26 two-sided weekly journaling cards that will be big full-size ones. And then I'll just use whatever journal I'm using um, to keep my... Um, there's always things to do that aren't on my calendar. So then, um, you know, maybe I'd have the journaling tag laying here and I would put all of the emails that I need to return, the phone calls I need to receive, um, you know, go to the bank, things like that, pick up dry cleaning, all the other things that, that don't make it on the calendar. Um, so let me put the writing board back. I, I try to explain what it is. Not everybody that sees the Etsy shop might follow the link to the video and see, or they might not make it through the video because I'm so long and chatty. It's not just a flip through. Oh, let me see, I've gotten off screen here. Go back to the first page and adjust. All right, and tag here. I may not pull everything out. Uh, let's see, what another way, I really find it's important to recycle, reuse, that may not be important to you. Um, and it's a junk journal, so so some people wonder where is the junk. So um, 
The junk is in, uh, in the product packaging that I use. I'll use junk mail envelopes. I think this is one right here that I've covered up. Um, I also print uh, on the back of junk mail and or um, extra printing pages, like I do bookkeeping and taxes for a living. So when I print out bank statements, it'll print out a page for somebody to manually reconcile if I'm not careful, you know, and don't skip those pages. And then a page that just has some banking rules and instructions. Neither of those pages will have the person's name, account number, or anything confidential on it. Or sometimes when I'm printing things, it'll just print out an extra page with almost nothing on it or nothing on it. I, I just collect those things and I, and I use those to print on so that um, they're getting reused instead of just thrown into the recycling bin, um, which we do a lot of here in California. All right, and then this is another Amy from Crafty Cat. I won't be able to say all the kits, but I was so excited about her paper doll kit. Um, and that's that's what got me in the Christmas spirit was Amy over at Crafty Cat. Thank you, Amy. And then I hope you can see this. Anything you can't see, I guess, will just be a little surprise for you later. And like I hopefully said in my Etsy ad, expect to be have me put extra stuff in the box. There's already extra stuff in the box. Um, some of them may not close completely because I got carried away with adding extra stuff to the box. This is Top Tuck here, the little journaling card. So this is one where there's not a lot of place to write, but you could write on whatever you wanted and tuck it into this envelope or add it to the pocket that you know has room you could um take it take whatever you had written and add it under here you know find a beautiful piece of stationery or scrapbooking paper or something to to write on yourself and tuck under there um i love this page that little girl reaching into her stocking is so cute i hope you can see the love for that little image there but i just dedicated the whole page to her um, no writing space there, but there's a big writing space on the page right next door. And if I really wanted to write on this page, I would write there. But I like having some pages that were just to be pretty when I use them. I really do. And here's one of our, this is a sari ribbon. I don't have any of these in the shop. Um, I just use those myself. I only offered ones in the shop that I have a big spool of ribbon. So I knew that... Um, not that there's been, you know, high demand, but if there was a high demand for them, I would be able to fill the whatever demand was there. I didn't want somebody to have their heart set on giving them out to everybody for Christmas and then have me, oh, sorry, I can, only, I can only have three of those. You know, I don't know. It's probably not important, but um, I'm a business person so uh, and a crafter, but I just I can't help but think business-minded. This image is kind of small, but it's so sweet. Let me lift this up with the mom and the little girl um, decorating the tree. So cute. And I have less sentiments in this uh, in this journal, but they tend to be larger. Um, and this is a chipboard element, so it's raised in 3D. And just like with the other journals, the pages are on different weights of paper, so they feel different when you turn them. And because I like to glue things on top of both sides of the pages, most of them are pretty sturdy. Uh, and then there's another tuck spot with a couple more tags, little Christmassy tags. You could write on the front and the back of those. And I, I leave a couple things, um, pages that I've added, uh, usually sheet music, or this is a sheet music cover where you could do some collage or add something here if you want. I may come back through and add another element. I hope not, um, because it fits and closes perfectly now, but sometimes I get, I'll see a video, I'll get a great idea, and I'll, I'll you know, just have to pick something up. I'll be certain that, you know, I know exactly what I need to do with this, but, but I liked it. I just, I, I, yeah, I make them like I make them for myself. So, um, and then just hope someone else will, you know, have similar taste and, or like my tastes or like my style. Isn't this cute? And there's a little bit of bling here and there's lace on both of these pages. 
And yeah, this one's sticking a little bit off the edge. Teanut Shabby Dabby Doodah does that a lot. Puts it on at an angle. Thought I'd give it a try. Lots of writing space on this page. I think this image is really sweet too. The bonnet, the little girl. I use a lot of Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah, her flowers. I love her flowers. These, the style little roses make it into uh, most, if not all my projects, I think. And the butterfly there. And look at this little image here. It's from a magazine cover. Isn't that cute? And a little bit of ribbon pressed down. And the other side of that half of sheet music cover. And this image here of the little girl sewing. And behind her is a collection of little dolls and she's got a little basket of sewing by her feet there. It is so cute. Oh, I hear Cleo. Here, Cleo, that's Cleo's collar jangling. She came over to say meow. She did, she just came over, got right up next to me and said meow, and then went on into the window behind me. It's a little bit overcast right now, so I'm getting really good light from the window behind me this morning. Um, it's not the load that weighs you down, but how you carry it. And I love these snowmen on the sleigh. I, I picked these images and uh, most of the, I can't say most, some of the snowman images are from Mrs. Coggs. I know there's, I bought a lot from Adamo. Um, I know there's so many people that ha I, I, I was a, a kit buying addict for a while there. Uh, most, I will say there there's probably quite a bit of Digital Collage Club in every project that I do. This is not sponsored or anything. I, I purchased my subscription. Um, but I, I, I just realized um, when my annual subscription subsp expired how much of their stuff is in all my projects. I mean, they she just has the... A great selection of stuff up there but I I love variety I just I crave variety um, and I, I sought out specifically snowman images I also sought out specifically ice skating so I looked for things that were snowman things that were ice skaters you know and the things that weren't from digital collage club um, yeah I love that the little Perot clown and the and the snow snowman I don't know how, I mean, I decided this is for sale and that's that's just the way it is, um, but it is really hard to part with. I, I was so inspired by that channel. Here's two different kinds of lace here. There's lace up here. I'd forgotten there to point out all the lace. This is the other side of that envelope. And then um, I do like to let a little bit of the envelope show through so you can see some of the junk mail that went in there. Here's another image, a bunch of ladies gathered around a table, dressed up for the holidays. Can you can see that. I only get 10 or 15 seconds, this more lace, to show it off on Etsy. And in this one, there's at least 72 pages, not counting, say, the little envelope or things like that that poke out. Um, and, um, 15 seconds is not enough time. So this is a project um, that I have on my channel. It's the Flip Up Notepad project. I love them. I burned through all of my uh, junk mail envelopes that did not have windows um, for this project. And then it started using ones with windows and um, and ultimately may, uh, may need to just get some some envelopes maybe I'll go thrift shopping because I just I hate to get new you know for the envelopes there's so many just roaming around out there um, but yeah I like how this one came out this was definitely inspired this little cluster by the ruby and pearl um, I have the little Christmas ones already made and then I went back to it with my laces and things to make it and of course a spot to journal on the back and this is file folder scraps, so that could be considered junk. Um, I 
no scrap gets left unused. I saved my scraps. And this one I even decorated on the back. Just cute. It also could hang over the top. <laughs> the Cleo, the kitten, you can probably hear her. She's gotten a hold of my bag of bottle caps, knocked it over, and is going to town. She has had her eye on that bag of bottle caps every time I get it out. I have my little squirt bottle right here. And I had to use it when I was making my bottle cap magnets um, for Christmas. So yeah, anyways, these are so cute. And you can make the note, I made the notepad out of scraps too. A little nice scrap buster project if you're a crafter. And it's so easy, it was fun, it was easy. I have all the measurements, so you just lay it down, cut out the pieces, glue them down. I like to kind of work work that way when I do my mass makes is to, you know, glue five envelopes, layer five envelopes, you know, with matting and then sit and finish each envelope. I added more bling to the little clock here and put a writing space onto this beautiful paper. I think this, uh, I'm almost positive, this is from Antique Papery. Um, almost all of my watercolor -y images were purchased from them. Um, so I can keep that straight. I know several people have some of this, the same artwork um, in theirs. I know this is from Angela Kerr, this lace piece in the background there. And this is more um, of the antique papery. And see like these, these angels that I bought, this was specific when I, I was looking for Christmas angels. And I and they were beautiful. It's a whole page of I think maybe six or nine on a page of just beautiful angels all in this in this color, this color palette. Just gorgeous. Here's a little ribbon bow and some clustered um netting. I had actually bought this to repair an antique hat. The antique hat has been put away and I've used almost all of it in crafting. It never got repaired. But those those hats that have the netting that hang down that's all ruined. Um, I had thought that that would be a nice, you know, modern replacement for it. But, um, you know, I'm too busy making junk journals to repair old hats. Let me make sure I'm back on screen. Mm. I keep saying this. I love this page. Look at her in her beautiful little snow outfit. This isn't a pocket. It's kind of decorated in the style of a pocket, but it's not. And then here's Santa with a bag full of toys. And I like this quote too. In the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. Isn't that true? Another piece of lace. More lace. I mean, I really, I went at it hard with the lace, for sure. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. It's pretty clear. If nobody bought it, I would keep it. I don't need it, though. I have a tub full of journals that I made last year and the year before. Um, and this is another one of Amy from Crafty Cat, another one of her paper dolls. I think it's so cute. This is something from a kid I was working on, for, but it'll be next Christmas before that'll be done. And then I did a little flip out. Yeah. See, that's one thing that might get added is another interactive element, um, a flip out. We have a flip up and we have a flip out. Maybe, I don't know, that's probably, I think it's full, but. And this background is something else, one of my papers that I, it's going to be in one of my kits I'm working on. But with my full-time job and then making, you know, crafting so much. And then now I'm working on listing in my Etsy shop, which feels like another, a, a job I enjoy, I will admit. Um, but, you know, takes up more, more time as well. And then the YouTube channel that I'm trying to stay on top of with my two videos a week. This is the other, the bottom half of that sheet music. There's the top half in the first signature here, and then the other half. And see how, unless you're at the very beginning or the end, it lays somewhat flat, you know, depending on where you're at. In the journal, um, 
You don't have to crack the spine open. I love this. I decorated this side. You can tell I haven't looked at it in a few days. I've been working on other stuff. I just forgot how cute it is. Taft is the art of making a point without making an enemy. That is so true. There's another Rockwell image. Lots of bling, more lace. And I just used some fabric scraps to make a little cluster and more of that netting. I just think that it feels really soft, first of all. It feels really soft on your fingers and it's light and delicate. It looks nice. More lace here, lace, lace. It's a little piece of chipboard decorated the corner of this page. So that feels kind of neat when you grab the page to have the kind of cushion thickness of the fabric and then the thick chipboard there. There's some ladies. Oh, there was one that was about all about, um, all about shopping. I know this was Mrs. Cox. I think it was like window shopping or something like that. It was all people looking in the windows to Christmas shop. Look at those adorable children. Oh, that woman has her hands full. If you think about it though, look at her. She's, she looks pretty young herself. And then uh, she's got the little one in her arms, one hanging from her skirt and two others to, to keep, uh, you know, to keep her eye on. Hmm. I did put some, I love fairies. They might just slip into a little bit of everything, but the colors and I, I just thought she looked nicely with the, her yellowy green with the Christmassy greens on this page. Isn't that nice? And then I like to do that, to split a picture across the center of a spread. And I remember to do the little washi tape the washi tape flags on the end this time. I often forget to finish the little strings. Oh, we've got a little scrap of lace hanging out in here. We'll leave that. There's a little bit of lace I glued down there, the lace tab. Yeah, so this page would be the thinnest page because it, it was printed two-sided and it's just a single sheet of copy paper. But I used a uh, good quality paper um, when I'm printing. And so, uh, yeah, this was definitely just printed directly on, um, on the good printer paper. So it feels smooth and nice to your hand. That's the difference between, uh, if you were wondering, between color print paper and regular copy paper is that by comparison, the regular copy, copy paper feels almost like sandpaper compared to the color print paper. I also have some Tim Holtz flowers in here. I had a little packet of those left uh, that I came across when I was making this. So I, I put some of those in here and those are on chipboard or on, on, on a heavy cardstock. So that's nice. Here's a chipboard piece, Midnight in the Garden by Prima. And there's a little uh, string bow and some more lace. This is a Christmas window setting display. It's a Christmas window display in black and white. It looks like it's from the 50s maybe, judging by the style of gown. It's really cute. Yeah, see this page here I know is from the Digital Collage Club kit and the the back I put it on is also a, a Digital Collage Club. And this is somebody holding a Christmas tree. It looks like they're buying a nutcracker, you know, from somebody at a little street selling tent. A little street seller, somebody holding a small Christmas tree and I don't know, maybe it's not a Christmas tree a bow, a branch off a Christmas tree or something. He's got a little armload of interesting goodies under under his arm anyhow. And the little girls and their dolls. I said I like dolls and so um, I think I do have a collection of images that's probably kids and their dolls. I also have photographs of my dolls that I uh, intend to, to work into a kit. And this is another one that's going to be a part of um, of that doll kit. Um, it's one of the background pages. It was, I just, I liked the image. I just left it blank. 
Um, no pages untouched though because I round the corners and I ink all the edges. And actually this one, um, when I turn the flip through off, I'm gonna go back and add some gold gilding to it. So it will be even nicer when you get it. Um, and I haven't done the pictures for the Etsy shop. The gold gilding doesn't seem to come out in the photos, so, um, or be super visible in the videos either. Here's another chipboard piece that has some um, rose gold metallic on it. And then I put some bling on top of a scrap and more lace here. And then this, uh, again, I like being able to see that it was a junk envelope in some way, which is why I didn't cover it completely. You could write on top of this whole book page section because it's small enough, or this is an area where you could actually do a spread or add something in yourself if you wanted. There's not many pages where you could do that, but I do leave hopefully a couple spots um, where, where whoever gets the journal has, has a place to do their own little crafting if they want. Or it's a nice place to rest. The pages are so busy. It's nice to have some that have a little bit less on them. There's more lace here. And there's another from Amy at Crafty Cat. Cleo's gonna help us distress our ribbon. So um, I think that's nice. She's always willing to lend a paw or some teeth if necessary. She loves the little paper clip bows. Yeah, oh, she's so sweet. All right, and we're at the end. This is um, the inside of the last signature. No, kitty, hold on. Ooh. All right, sorry if you didn't want to hear the kitty kissing. I just can't help myself. And then this is a little paper bag journal. Um, and it had a Velcro closure, but I just think it looks nice with the ribbon. And then I just left this simple. I, the papers are so beautiful. This is from 49 and Market Papers, I'm fairly certain. Um, yeah, I they're just beautiful. It was a little bit I had left over from last year of these papers and um, some tea dyed paper scraps of mine where I was tearing the top edges off of things or, yeah. I, I save all my scraps so then when I do uh, collage or or want to make little notepads, I can find all the, the little notepad kind of scraps. I like this gold colored ribbon. And then there was a, I had this as a writing page and then came back and added this element because I wanted to make sure there's enough interactive elements like this that you can open up, fold out, flip, untie. I just, it just feels so, maybe elegant is the word, extravagant. It, it makes me feel good when I use them, when I hold them. Um, they make nice coffee table books because people that come over to visit, even, they would never get all the way through it, I don't know. Um, or I know um, my ex-mother-in-law came over and uh, I gave her a bee journal and, um, and uh, she she was enjoying just sitting there going through the different sentiments and reading them aloud and we would kind of discuss you know some of them were like i'm not sure that's true you know <laughs> um or the quotes some of the quotes and yeah so there's not there's not as many quotes or sentiments in here um, yeah, kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. See, like, that's true. We can all agree with that. Um, but for whatever reason in the Bee Journal, there were a couple that sounded kind of neat, as long as you didn't think about it over much, right? <laughs> yeah, and then let's see. All right. Um, and then this is another that Angela Kerr from her digital kit, her um, lace doilies so beautiful and I'd seen her use them on her channel so many times um I just love that and then this was actually a printing on my black and white printer um because my color printer you know has been throwing fits and every once in a while I'll accidentally send a print on the black and white printer when I mean to print on the color printer and um at my office and and I keep and use them uh, they don't go in the recycling, they get used. 
Yeah, and then this is from Master Collage Board that I do on product packaging. I probably used, you know, maybe two or three food boxes in the making of this. A couple, um, probably one or two junk mail envelopes and let's see what else is in here. There was a, a recipe book, gardening journal, um, that I think is in French maybe. Uh, and, uh, and I tea stained that, the, the pink pages. So that, that's kind of junk, but I love these three dimensional flowers. They're, I have a, they're from a variety of sources. A lot of them are probably Prima because they have a really, really good, beautiful selection, but I do have them from a variety of makers. Yeah, this is my journal. This is probably my longest flip through, but it is my biggest journal. So uh, I hope you didn't mind the chatter and you enjoy looking at it. And once I get all the pictures and everything done for the Etsy shop, I will um, add the link to the Etsy shop to the video, add the link to the video to the Etsy shop. Um, it takes me, a, you know, maybe a couple days to get all of that together. Um, so um, yeah, be patient. I hope you like it. I love it. So um, I'd love to see it go to a new home. And I'd like to give a shout out to um, the a lady that just bought two journals from my Etsy shop. I'd like to say thank you so very much. It really made my day. And um, the shop is new and I was really nervous, you know, that I would put all my things in there and spend time putting things in there. And, you know, maybe nobody would want to buy them. So that that really was uh, was a huge encouragement and lit me on fire. I'm halfway through, oh, not, not really, probably a quarter of the way through another Christmas journal um, that I, I use the joy from making those sales to, to light the fire under me to, to start a new project. So um, yeah, thanks again for looking. I hope you like it. And uh, if you're a fellow crafter, maybe there's something inspiring. I really love these crafty cat, Amy at Crafty Cat. I think she has some of them up on Etsy now, but um, she had a greater selection on her own website. If you just search Google, you know, Amy Crafty Cat, um, I, found, I found it easily, her website. Um, when I saw her using them and they weren't on in Etsy, I knew she must have a website. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Thanks again. Have a great day.